We are at the high camp of Huayna Potosi, a mountain in Bolivia, higher than 6,000 meters. First time we're going to climb a mountain with crampons, pickaxe on the glacier. The sun is coming out behind you. 5,950 meters right now. And it's hard. And it's very steep and hard. Many people quit already. We are Nick and Mathilde. And in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa. We want to see it all. This is day 526 and we are in Bolivia. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. Last week we crossed the border between Bolivia and Peru on the Lake Titicaca. We then headed to the capital city of La Paz, where our new challenge awaits us. We can actually see it from some point of view in the city. Do you see it? Check out La Paz. Boom! It is insane. <gasps> Before we tell you more, we drop out Defender the Albatros in a camping of Bolivia main town La Paz and took a taxi to the city center where everything starts. Good morning, it is 7.50 and we are Monday. We are sitting in a taxi direction and agency because we are going to hike the highest mountain we've ever done so far, 6,088 meters. It's going to be a challenge for sure, <laughs> but I hope a lot of fun. We are going to attempt the climb of this mountain because it's probably the hardest physical challenge for both of us. The hike itself is all right, it's really the elevation that we are fearing. Huayna Potosi. In Amari, it means the young mountain range. It is a mountain above 6,000 meters, almost 20,000 feet. And if we are confident we have minimal physical ability for that kind of challenge, we have no idea whether our bodies will adapt to the elevation. This is surely the hardest physical challenge we have ever attempted. First stop of the day, we got some elevation sickness uh, medicine and some snacks for the rest of the road. Nick is grabbing a few chocolate and cookies. Ah, what do you need? 28. 28? Nick is a snack smuggler. I am, I got all the snacks for the mountain. <laughs> First step, we have to rent some equipment because we don't have the proper jackets or pants or crampons, shoes, etc. So we're going to try everything and then we're going to pack. Big jacket. Looking good. No, it's just like in a small bag, but you know. grand, this. Cool. Nicolas, ¿qué talla eres? Uh, 41. 41, perfecto. Oh. Sí, ya. Yeah. esto. Matilde. 38, Matilde. Matilde, 38. Buah. No me gusta. Tienes que pagar para sacar mi video. Sí, a mí. sí, bien, Eso bien. Es importante. <laughs> Está bien, perfecto, Nicolás. Sí. I had a thumb space, which is fine, because anyway, we're going to have bigger socks on. Yes, yes. Jackets, trousers, shoes and technical equipment collected. We jump onto a minibus with our new group direction the foot of the mountain. The love and jokes of the beginning suddenly got tinted with a touch of anxiety as Huayna Potosi, the famous mountain, appears behind the windows of the bus. Excited? Oh, very, very excited, but also very daunting. Look. Oops, sorry. <laughs> 
So are we excited or scared? Extremely scared. <laughs> <laughs> excited and scared. Excited. I even wonder which side of that mountain you go up from. Oh, maybe we can ask Patricio. Yeah. ¿Sabes de cuál lado vamos arriba? Arriba vamos a subir un poquito por la derecha, un poquito por atrás. Un lado que no vemos ahora. Sí, sí. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. ¿Y que hay más nieve? No, sí. Más ah, ok, nieve, ok. Sí. Cerca de la nube. Ajá. Ah, cerca de la nube. Sí. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. It's funny to see how everyone reacts differently. Some people are more excited, some people are more scared. I'm on the more excited side. I'm on the more uh, I don't want to be cold side. <laughs> That's it, we made it to base camp and that's why it's considered a very accessible mountain is that you can drive to base camp, so it's very comfy. And we're staying at Happy Day Lounge. Oh, it's chic. Oh, it's super nice. So a quick visit of the camp. Here we have all the technical equipment. In the back over there is the kitchen, we can't really go. And then here, we have a nice little dining room with tons of tea and coffee, stickers, and glass, and then a nice bedroom. <laughs> Just got a big sleeping bag, minus five. That looks warm. Because we didn't have any. And then we got uh, pants, we got gloves, got this cute uh, alpaca looking jacket, <laughs> big jacket, and I think that's it. Yeah, and yeah, a big backpack because yeah. ours is only uh, 30, 28 liters and this one is a much bigger one, I'm guessing yeah. 50. And we need to put crampons and pickaxe in it. Yeah. Exactly, so we're going to start using this straight on today and it's going to be first time doing crampon and pickaxe so it's going to be a lot of fun and we're with a bunch of cool guys here. We've got a little pack with helmet, gators. Crampons and shoes and pickaxe. Shoes, gaiters, jacket, harness. I have them, but for now I'm sure I shouldn't come off that. Everyone is a bit struggling. A lot of big equipment. But we're getting there. Yay, Mark. All right. You guys look cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. First day. We have a little ice training with all the equipment so that's why everyone is so walking weirdly so that we can try the pickaxe, try the campers, try if we can carry everything correctly so that's where we're going now I think it's an hour walk from the camp Our first day was not really just like a holiday at base camp we had work to do to be sure we were at the level for D-Day with our new equipment for the most part, we had never worn crampons and needed to practice with our new technical equipment. Okay, practice happens. There, we can see the glacier from here. <laughs> and what do I do next? <laughs> uh, you go back in front, yeah. into here? the two loops, not in front, on here? the other side. Three. Here? Two loops, yeah. Uh, into the two. We are literally learning everything from scratch. From the most basic things like tying up our crampons to walking with them or even holding an ice axe. Really if you settle. Ready for training? Ready. Pickaxe ready. Crampons ready. Crampons ready. <laughs> and uh, the man is ready. We're waiting for the guy, he's pulling out the cords so that we can attach each other and let's go up. It's any fun. That style. Oh yeah. Hi. It's like I'm almost laying down on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this looks interesting. Mathilde, how did it go? It was uh, 
it's really hard, but when you get a technique, it's a bit more comforting. Good okay. job. A bit scared. Nice. After a bit of practice, as we barely start feeling comfortable, the guides decided to increase the difficulty by more than a bit. It is clear that the casual glacier walk won't be enough to make it up. Vamos para arriba? No. no. We go up. No, no. <laughs> I'm not, it's not joking. <laughs> I tell you, it's not joking. <laughs> Look at his smile, sincerely. He's like, they're going to okay. freak out. <laughs> no, it's not too hard. No, no, it's easy. It's a small work. I would say, I would say, make sure you Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Nice. Good job. It's tiring, but it's worth it. We've got our sleep on the Okay. Good job. I love this. Oh, it's so tiring. <laughs> this first day for us was only pleasure. We loved every single moment of the training and felt even more confident by the end of it. But that was without counting for day two. It's now, what time is it? 8.40 and it's time to go to bed. We ate so much, we got a last debriefing. And now everyone is getting cozy in their sleeping bag. Just going to do a sneak peek. <laughs> Comfy? Comfy. <laughs> and warm? Yeah, getting warm. It's awesome. Be perfect. You look super comfy. Oh, this is great. Ali. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> it's very important to sleep well because we're still not that high. We're at 4,700 and we're used to this. So we should be able to sleep well. Tomorrow is another deal and we'll probably sleep super bad. It's at 5,200, something like that. Tonight is the night to sleep. Good night. First night at base camp, I think we mostly slept well, woke up a few times. It was not cold, so that's a good news. I'm really reassured because if we manage to sleep here, there's a chance we can sleep okay at high camp. And now we're packing to go to high camp in the afternoon. So there's a lot to put in there. Sleeping bag, all the warm clothes, and then we have some snacks, lamps, medication, and block and then after that we need to add up all the technical equipment crampons helmets uh, harness etc etc we thought the hike up today would be easy until we saw our bags <laughs> ready they're really big really thick there's only billy the navy guy in over us who's like ah, business as usual and he's judging the rest <laughs> <laughs> That's the bag of Billy. Compact, organized, cool. That's mine. <laughs> wow, what a day today. Luckily, it's very sunny. Uh, all the way up to Potosi, which you can see right there. there. So today we hike up to 5,200 meters. We sleep there, wake up at midnight, and then do Potosi for, uh, from 1 a.m. till about 7 a.m. It's gonna be epic. Let's do this, you ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. Okay, now we're, we're going to slowly continue, one line, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Um, we're taking this time to present to you the whole team. Here we go. Representing the UK. I'm Billy from the UK. <laughs> Maddie from Australia. My name is Mark. I'm from Ireland. 
I'm Charlie, I'm from Australia as well. Marta Poland. <laughs> Marta from Poland. <laughs> I'm Lolly from Germany. Cool. And the whole dream team will make it. Yes. We're gonna make it. All the way up. <laughs> Bags were heavy, and maybe for the first time our group realizes even more clearly the challenge in front of us. And the mountain seems to be sending us a reminder that we are at its mercy as it started hailing. Still on the way to high camp, and now it hails, but it's beautiful where it is. Storm, the sun. I'm tired. Indeed. Ciao, Patricio. Almost there for the high camp. <laughs> Almost there for the high camp. Thanks to Patricio. And a nice view. Eventually, we made it to the high camp. And for the first time, we can clearly see the route we will take the same night. The rocky path followed by the Eamons Glacier. Right now, we're here, 5,200. And tomorrow, hopefully, till the top, 6,088. But we have no time to lose. Our main objective on that afternoon is to rest. To take every single second possible to load up with energy before the climb. And we all had our ways to relax. Some played chess, others napped. Others were drinking tea in silence. Yeah, you can program your alarm clock or alarm phone. Yeah, for midnight, zero, zero, zero. You can wake up midnight and after you can pack it, you sleep in back already. So for tomorrow you need, yeah, in the feet, two socks, in the legs, three pants, yeah. In the body, four layers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Extra layers in back, back, yeah. Okay. Because after the breakfast we need lift from here, yeah. Because to, tomorrow the time is limit, okay. Not like yesterday, not like today. Tomorrow is different, yeah. To the summit is six hours. Slowly continue. It is now 6:20 p.m. and we're going to bed. Hopefully we don't have to wake up to go pee because we've been drinking so much tea. And in five hours and a half, we wake up. In the meantime,
Alright, let's go. We just started the hike. It is 1.15 in the morning. It is 5,200 meters altitude. And we should arrive at 6,088 in about six hours. So around 7 a.m. This is our guide, Marciano and Mathilde. The sky it. is all clear. We hope we can make it. Two people were sick this morning, but they're gonna go for it anyways, which is great. And uh, we're gonna go slowly, but surely. Let's try. <sighs> Rambo guide. <laughs> Okay, we're done with the first phase on the rocks and now we put the crampons and we go on ice. First step, easy, let's go. Let's do this. <sighs> crampons on. Hola, yo me llamo Marcial. Buen día para ustedes. Gracias, Marcial. Gracias, Marcial. Sí. <laughs> most of the way, no puedo seguir. Most, most, okay. We're tied to each other now yeah. for life. Yes. In the dark night, there is nothing to distract us. Just the noise of crampons on the hard ice and heavy breathing from the elevation. In the obscurity, we don't even quite realize the deepness of the crevasses, thinness of snow bridges and the steepness of the snow wall on our way. We just put one foot in front of the other. We're at 5,007, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the wall, they call it. We gotta go up, up, up. It's getting really tough. And everybody, a lot of people have let go already. But we're still here. But as sunrise peaks behind the horizon, around 5,900 meters elevation, it hits us. The sun is coming out behind you. 5,950 meters right now. 130 <sighs> more up. And it's hard. And it's very steep and hard. I think out of eight, we have four left. And all is left from that moment when energy was draining out is just a few videos recorded on the go and a lot of emotion in our voices. We don't film much, but because it's really hard. Hopefully we see you at the summit. So yes, for the rest of the climb, we barely have any clip. At that point, all that matter was that we would make it and all our energy was geared toward that. So I made this just there. We made it to the very top, finally 6,088 meters. So good. It, it was, was incredibly so hard. hard. It was so hard. Any last words? No. <laughs> and this is Marcelo. Marcel. An incredible guide. Made it to the top. I think this is the last time I am ever doing this. Even though it was incredible, it's too hard. Ah, look at this view. Incredible. I mean, everything else just looks tiny. Tiny, tiny. We made it. The hardest physical challenge we have set ourselves into. 
What followed almost didn't matter. The 1,300 meters way down to base camp with our heavy bags, the 16 hours straight sleep that we took when we were back at the Albatros, and the sore throats almost did not feel real. All that mattered is that feeling up there after reaching the summit, that feeling of lightness, of achievement while running down the slopes and discovering this heaven of a mountain we only had seen in the night. All that mattered was that we went beyond what we thought we could achieve and here, for a brief moment, we felt we were capable of anything. Kit Kat break! We're going down at light speed. Chocolate. Chocolate. 30 minutes left. <sighs> Until the high camp. Then we still need to go back down. Kit Kat. And even if that was the hardest physical challenge for us, this world tour journey is by far our biggest objective. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you do not miss the rest of this world tour. See you next week. So something really funny. Um, Charlie is actually attached to me and he has to go to a bathroom. Pull me over. So he's stuck to me and you can't go further than five meters away. You're right, Charlie. Do not pull me over. <laughs>